If you're ever on the M50, you might see the remains of a castle as you're passing by at Ballymount. And I'm here in Ballymount Castle now, and actually at the castle itself. Um, the castle was built in 1622, it's believed. The, the land was granted to uh, William Parsons by uh, James I, and he, uh, Parsons had huge plans to extend the castle out. The castle itself, would have extended across the Lewis line and over into where the M50 is, but there was a much more larger estate. Um, he had plans to build a huge estate, a grand house, a fortified house, and uh, have huge gardens. But uh, the Civil War in 1640 put an end to that. William Parson fled in 1640 and in 1642 the rebels put the castle to the ground and it was never actually rebuilt. The, the lands were then transferred over to other people but there's an old painting, two old paintings where you can see the castle still in ruins for all that time. It was never actually rebuilt or reconstructed. Make your way along by the Lewis lines, you can see there's other parts of the boundary walls that lie around, and just down here from the, the castle, there's a, another building that's still hidden underneath. This structure here is fairly still buried. You can see it was a one story building, some sort of used now for drinking and graffiti everywhere, cans and stuff. But it still has its roof and kind of what windows were around on doors. This part is still really overgrown, you don't really see it so well. And you have to be careful crossing the tracks. You can cross the tracks, but it's wise to look both ways before you do. Here you can see some of the remains of the boundary walls that circle the lands. Um, there is still bits of it left, or uh, there's graffiti on it, and there's other little parts of ruins scattered around the uh, Ballymount Park here. But uh, the Lewis line literally cuts through. You can see over here where there's more parts over here, and the Lewis line cuts right through. On the grounds here in Ballymount Park, it's not just the remains of Ballymount Castle, which is also known as Kingswood Castle. There's also this moat here. Um, it's actually not medieval, it's Bronze Age. It's believed there was artifacts found around and it's like, a, like one of the old burial mounds, something similar to Newgrange or the newer style that would have come after Newgrange. On top of the Bronze Age mount, there's this building here, another what looks like a, a tall house, but it's actually what's known as John Butler's Folly. He, uh, John Butler lived in Ballymount House, no, not the castle, Ballymount House in the 18th century, and his daughter was being married, and he built this structure to look like an old ruin, like a round tower or old tall house, and it was uh, because it was up on top of the moat, the Bronze Age grave. They could see over the land and all the other ruins that were here and it was basically a folly and it was intentionally never actually finished. It's still here to this day as well, in ruins, as it was meant to look originally. So if you're ever curious about the castle that was there on the M50 as you pass by, it's Ballymount Castle or Kingswood Castle as it's also known. And it's here in the park, the park is beautiful. There's other remains around like the walls that would have been around the, the land at the time. There's the Bronze Age burial site and then the folly on top. And besides all that, it's a beautiful uh, park. Um, there's a guy done um, research on it. I can't think of his name, 
but I'll put a link to his walk down below. I thought it was brilliant. Um, I hope you can hear me, it's extraordinarily windy. Anyway, thanks very much for watching.